Joined by Tech Tech and Madam Housley in Los Angeles. You know, so the smart home is really advanced in the last couple of years. Remember at CES a few years ago, we first saw some of these connected devices that help control your home. We thought this was great. This is the future. This is the Jetsons. Well, now not only are your homes smart, but they're affordable. And here to talk all about it is Andrea Smith, she's the executive producer of Living in Digital Times, also the co-host of the Parenting Bites podcast. You can find her on Twitter at Andrea Smith, also andreasmith.org and the parentingbites.com. Andrea, thanks for joining us as always. Oh, thanks for having me, Adam. Okay, there's some really cool items up here. You know, obviously smart homes are being offered really by everybody, cable companies, phone companies, but you can do a lot of this yourself too, and there's some great stuff here. The first one I want to talk about is a SwitchMate. 39 bucks, switchmate.com. Uh, tell us about it. You know, you're right. It doesn't have to be expensive and it doesn't have to be, you know, rewiring your own house. Switchmate makes it really, really easy to take one light and connect it to your smartphone so that you can control it via a mobile app. It's great for a place you can't reach often or maybe you're too lazy to get off the couch and you don't want to go to this light. This simply goes right on over the existing light, whether it's a toggle switch or a rocker switch. It's got little magnets on the back. It clicks right in place, connected via an app to your phone, and there you go. You've got a smart light. It couldn't be any simpler than that. Yeah, and it's also great, too, because you can potentially schedule times, correct? You can schedule times that could be on or off. That way, if you're going on vacation or let's say you are on vacation, you can, on your own, just, hey, I'm turning my lights on. Hey, I'll turn my lights off. So if people can't basically decide if you're home or not. Absolutely. You set yourself a little schedule, whether it's one light, three lights, however many you have, you link them together, and you don't have to be home. The lights just turn on and off even when you're not there. Love it. All right, uh, next thing we have is from Honeywell, and Honeywell has some great stuff. They also have some, um, uh, some of the devices that can help you keep your temperature in your house, uh, either hot or cold, the, obviously the heaters or the air conditioning, depending on what you have set up in your home. But they also have this Link Wi-Fi water leak and freeze detector now, here in California, maybe only the water leak will help, but obviously in much of the country, this thing is great, especially when wintertime comes. You know, Adam, I can't tell you how many people, including myself recently, who've had water leaks in their homes. And it can be massive damage, right, if you don't catch it massive. in time. Massive. Uh, luckily, mine was caught in time. And, and this leak detector is great because it's got a probe on it. You put it down on the floor, say, in the laundry room or, you know, where your appliances are. Even if you have one of those drains in your washing machine, you put it in there. It detects the water. So it can let you know something bad is happening here in time for you to do something about it. Now, how does it do that? It sends right. an alert to your phone. It's connected to your smartphone, of course. It sends an alert. Or you can also give a predetermined number of people. So, for instance, I could have put my sister in as one of my people, and it would alert her as well that there's a problem in my house. Even better, you know, if your appliances are in those, those pans, you can get a rope sensor that just goes along the floor of the right. laundry room. So any water that comes up there, this will let you know. Vivitar, they have their own home automation starter kit. We've seen a lot of companies out now with their own starter kits. Um, but this one, uh, again, different but positive. There's all, there's all different ways you can do this. Vivitar has a, a great setup for theirs. Yeah, you know, a lot of people are confused. They know, where, where do I start? Do I get a thermostat? Do I get a camera? Do I get a sensor? How do I begin? So Vivitar tries to make it very simple for you. Uh, for under $100, you're getting a camera that you can stream HD video to your mobile device. You're getting a connected light bulb. Um, it, you know, you can change the colors. You can control it right from your smartphone right. app. And you're also getting a smart outlet. And what that does is you can plug a device, um, like a lamp, into the outlet, and now that's controlled via Wi-Fi using their app. And it's also got some USB ports on it, which I think is really smart. Yeah, very cool. Um, and a question on the Vivitar real quick. Is that a monthly uh, charge on that? I don't believe. I think once you, know? you have it, there's no charge for it. I think awesome. if you want to store, uh, if you want to store videos, I, all the companies have right. storage for the videos. I think it lets you keep videos totally. for a number of hours, and then if we, you want to store them, you pay. Good. We have to fly through these last two kind of quick. The Newtone Smart Garage Door Controller. A couple of these in the market. They're awesome. I love it. I can open a garage door when I'm at work. Yeah, brilliant. You know, and also the other thing is, if by accident your garage door gets left open when you pull out, you're notified you know that it's open. This awesome. actually happened to me. So you know when it's open, you know when it's closed, and you can open or close it from anywhere using your phone. So just a great safety thing awesome. to have. Yeah, fantastic. One of my favorite things that I have at the house. Final thing we have is a Cassetta wireless smart lighting system. A Cassetta does some great stuff. We have a couple of their switches. They, 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 they've done a good job with their setup. 
This is great for, because you can control your lights, you can control your shades if you have shades. Cassetta works with Nest Thermostat and Honeywell Thermostat all together, so you don't have to worry about them not having the same protocol. You can use your um, Siri, you can use Apple's Siri to control it, or you can use your Amazon Alexa, which is my favorite way of controlling devices. And now they've also added integration with Sonos, so all of this can now be controlled with just one app on your phone. Wow, good stuff. Well, we appreciate you coming on as always. Uh, you know, I got to say, there's so much out there that it's almost overwhelming in some respects. This is great stuff right here you have in front of you, but there's really no reason why you can't make your house a smart house and do it affordably. Great stuff. We appreciate you coming on, Andrea, as always. Thanks, Adam. You can find out more what Andrea does in a couple of places andreasmith.org, also on parentingbites.com. That's B Y T E S. Always good stuff. All right, I'm Adam Housley in Los Angeles, and you're watching Tech Take.